Okay, so this is our uh, TNC Duino from uh, SparkFun, and uh, wanted to check this out because it's supposed to have a really fast clock, 180 megahertz. And so uh, just got it today, and uh, looking for some something sharp to open it. All I could find is some grass tripper, trimmers. So whatever. Looks good to me. As long as it works, right? So I, I ordered two of them. So let's take a look here. Because uh, one is none, right? You need one to mess up, and then you'll have a second one to get things right. So it looks like they uh, came stapled to this cardboard. Welcome, TNC. I guess it tells you all the uh, pinouts. Okay. And here is the teensies in the bag. And, um, oh, that's an invoice. And I guess that's it. So let's take a look. I'm just wondering what this board looks like. So I wanted to use this for a uh, high frequency Tesla coil driver. And, okay, there we go. Let's zoom in on that, I guess. Okay, so it looks like it has a bunch of pins on either side, a place for an SD card. Here's our microchip and a micro USB on the front of it. And lots of pins. Okay, this should be very interesting. It's pretty small too. We can stick it in small projects, do some very fast processing. Okay, so uh We'll see if we can uh, figure out how to uh, write some programs in this and upload it to the TNC and and uh, check to see how fast it runs. Okay. So let me do some reading on that. Okay. So the first thing we went we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, uh, www.pjrc.com/tnc. And uh, this is the web page, the official web page for the uh, TNC Duino. And uh, I guess there's a few different ways you can program it, but I'm uh, I'm familiar with uh, the Arduino, and uh, it claims here that you can just do an add-on to the Arduino to uh, program the TNC. And it talks a little bit about it on this page here. And uh, I'm running Linux. I, I know that Arduino runs on all different types of systems, so we're, we're going to do the setup for Linux. And it turns out that I just had to upgrade my hard drive, and so I had to uh, I just started over with a new version of Ubuntu, and so I don't actually have Arduino installed. So the first step is to install uh, the Arduino IDE, and so I guess we will do that. Okay. Download the Arduino IDE. Okay, I believe we're running 64 bit Linux. And uh, we'll just download it. Okay. Okay, so I guess. Uh, the, uh, tried running the uh, TC Duino, and um, I guess it doesn't. This uh, software doesn't work with the uh, Linux distro, so you do have to do the uh, the Arduino tar to install it. And so I guess you just click on the Arduino tar file that we downloaded, and we'll install it. Okay. Extract and uh, you know, extract and tar them all so it's not too painful of a process. Okay, so extraction completed successfully.
Okay, so uh, we want to use the install program, and uh, we're going to do that by typing dot slash install dot sh. Okay, and it looks like it's going to start installing here. And uh, okay, adding desktop short uh, shortcut. Uh, it's probably in here. Let's take a look in here. Okay, so there's our Arduino IDE. And uh, let's just click on it and see if it starts up. Okay. And there it is. Okay, now that we've installed the proper Arduino program, let's, let's get out of this. Let's see if we can, well, actually, let's just check one thing. I want to check to see if it has the TNC Duino uh, drivers. So let's go under uh, boards, and we'll look down through the boards, and I don't think I see the TNC Duino anywhere on here. Okay, let's get out of that. Let's try going to um, okay. So now I was fiddling around with the uh, IDE a little bit, the Arduino IDE, and I didn't see the TNC on here. And so, when in doubt, read the directions, right? So uh, it looks like you can click on here, Linux installer, and I clicked on that, and it uh, downloaded some kind of file. And it says something about you got to run the uh, Arduino IDE once, and then maybe you got to shut it down before you install the TNC Duino. And so let's let's just try shutting this down. And uh, I've already downloaded one copy. I guess this will be the second copy. Let's just try opening this thing up. See if it will run. Open. Okay. The TNC Duino installer adds the necessary support files to your Arduino. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. I don't really see it doing anything. Okay. Let's see home videos, downloads, TNC Duino installer. Open. Could not display. No. Um. Let's see. Properties. Permissions allow as an executable. Okay, so yeah, I had this issue before, so you have to tell it that it's it's allowed to be an executable. Okay, so that's my downloads. That's the file that I just downloaded, and uh, choose a locate. Choose. Arduino location to install TNC, TNC Duino. Uh, let's see, where should we install it? Okay. Oh, look, it says next now. So we can click next and next. Copy. Click to install. Okay. Okay. First run your sketch on the TNC Duino USB board. Verify. Uh, click upload. Press OK. Done. Okay. So, 
it claims to have installed it properly. So let's go to our Arduino again. See if we can select the Teensy Duino board. Tools. Uh, board. Oh, here we go. So there's a whole selection of board types just for Teensy Duino now. Very interesting, huh? as well as all the usual Arduino boards on here. Arduino Yoon. Okay, so it made the modification so we can now, looks like, select TNC uh, 3.6 and write a sketch for it. So let's, let's check that out. We'll try to write a sketch for it and see if it works. Okay. Okay, since we are setting up um, this uh, Arduino from scratch. We probably didn't uh, give it permissions to uh, have the uh, uh, US have access to the USB port. So, okay, so we're having some problems hooking up to uh, other our Arduino. We'll try uh, to see if we can hook up to the Uno. We're still having problems, and so we've hooked our Uno to the computer. And here's a help website here for. Uh, for Linux, and uh, one of the things they suggest is uh, try trying this command: ls minus l slash dev slash tty acm star. Okay, and um, so this is our device that we would communicate with that uh, Arduino with, and um, it could be a zero or it could be some other number, I guess. And it says we need to add our user to the user group. So let's try this command, I guess. Okay, again, this is uh, from the terminal window over here, the X window. And let's uh, paste that in there. sudo user minus a g dial out, blah, blah, blah. Actually, you know what? Let's. What if we can make this window a little bit bigger? Let's make the window bigger so we can put it all on a single line. Okay. Paste. Okay, there we go. And we got to type in our password, our super user password. And, um... Okay. And then we want to, uh, I guess, change mod is uh, changing permissions modifying the permissions and we're going to give ourselves um, read and our I'm not sure what A is write read I believe and uh, okay okay so we uh, had to reboot the computer after we did those steps to uh, give us the uh, permissions and we checked our program and it looks like it checks out okay and we try downloading it and our board is blinking and now we can see the light is blinking on and off okay so the lights blinking on and off like what we expect it to okay so looks like we're able to get the normal Arduino Uno to work with uh, changing the permissions but they're going to the website it appears you need some special rules installed to uh, be able to talk to the Teensy and so if we go to uh, www.pjrc.com slash teensy slash 49 teensy rules, um, you have to download this file. And let me, uh, let me save this as, and uh, I'm going to actually not put the text at the end of it because the original file that they want to copy is supposed to end in dot rules. So let me just erase the text part and I'll save that under downloads. And let's go to our X window again. And let me make this a little bit bigger. List. Okay, so let's go to downloads in our X window. It's with a capital D. 
Uh, CD downloads. Okay. And let's look for our file. Let's just do this. LS 49 star. Okay, so it's there. So let's do our copy, pseudo copy 49 teensy rules. Okay, so the names are the same. To our exact dot slash udav slash rules dot d. Okay. And it didn't complain, so maybe it worked. Let's hook our teensy back up to our USB drive again. Okay, so I was doing a little research on the uh, Teensy Duino here, and we just wanted to do a simple sketch to uh, make sure that it's working okay. And I guess uh, they claim that uh, for a 3.6 or all the 3.x's uh, uh, Teensy Duinos, there is a LED on pin number 13. And so that makes it easy to uh, just check to see if you're you're getting an output. You can do the little Blink program. So I downloaded um, a sketch called Blink under uh, Files, Examples, uh, Basic. Okay, Blink. Okay, and this is that sketch, and it's already set to pin 13. And basically, it it uh, s sets uh, this pin to write to under the setup. It's telling you to pin mode output. Uh, LED is a variable set to 13, so you could just put 13 in there if you didn't want to use variables. And then uh, down here it writes it high, waits a, a thousand milliseconds, which is one second, and then writes it low. And so it should make a, a light that blinks on and off at a uh, period of one second. And so let's uh, take a look over here. And we're going to, here's our USB that's hooked into our computer here. And uh, the Teensy Duino has a micro USB input. And so we're going to, see if I can do this with one hand, plug that cable into the USB. I'm going to have to set the camera down to do this. Okay. Let's uh, plug that guy in here, see? And here we go. And that blinking is not our blinking LED, it's not our sketch. Okay. And we'll try. Okay. Try pushing the button. and it's not complaining. And let's take a look down here. Our LED seems to be flashing okay. Okay. Let's try to, uh, just to make sure that's not uh, some kind of other flashing thing that's just normal. We'll see if we can change the rate of it. So we'll change it to 100 milliseconds and reload it. And here we go again. Look, it's flashing about ten times faster. Maybe not quite ten times faster, because there's other delays and stuff in there, but it appears that uh, our Teensy is uploading the sketch. Let me let me upload the sketch one more time. So it stops, and then it uploads it. And we have our light flashing. So anyway, looks like we have fixed the problem. And this is uh, Dr. Janes, and thanks for watching.